Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I dive into the highly anticipated sequel Space Marine 2. I didn't play the original but I couldn't wait to get my hands on this game since I like Warhammer Universe. So let's shoot up and see if it lives up to the hype. I got a bit freaked out about some of the negative reviews as I didn't pay to play it earlier. The game is too short. They said... Doesn't have enough gun variety. They said... And so on. I'll address this later into the review. We'll also try to make this shorter than my in-depth reviews to see how you like it as I'm still looking for, I don't know, the reviews formula for this channel. So feedback is much appreciated. First off, let's talk about gameplay. Space Marine 2 devs cranked the gore up to 11. The combat is visceral and satisfying. The Numali system is a standout, allowing for brutal and fluid combos that make you feel like a true warrior of the Imperium. They absolutely nailed how the power armor feels while walking, running or when you're in combat. It feels heavy and slow but when you start swinging you realize that's so badass. I was glad to find out the weapons are varied enough for me at least. I, I mean bolt rifle, auto bolt rifle, bolt carbine, melta gun, heavy bolter, sniper rifle, just to name a few. And some melee and sidearms of course, I really enjoyed playing with the classical chainsword, power sword and the thunder hammer. And I like how some weapons have a charge attack or how you can do combos with melee weapons for example. I played by mostly spamming left click but at times when you nail a combo it feels good. Weapon stats are easy to digest, just pick one you enjoy playing with and you are fine. All behave and sound great in their own way. Throughout the story campaign you have two companions. Siron and Gadriel. You have more from time to time but these two are your squad, your besties you know. These guys are helpful, they resurrect you when you die and provide extra firepower. Too bad the enemies are focusing you 99% of the time, even if you... <laughs> Stand back while these two guys go to town on the boss for example. He still charges you because reasons. I guess this is done so you can't cheese the bosses but I don't really like it. Nah. Being constantly charged while those two pricks can just attack from range is infuriating. The gameplay consists in a series of six missions taking place across three planets. Kadaki, Avarax and Demerium. More on this when I talk about the story. After you are done with the campaign you can do operations with bots or in co-op or in engage in pvp. You will unlock cosmetics in these modes and gain xp to customize your armor and weapons. This is the grind I'm not too interested in but it's here for those who want to keep playing with a purpose. The story picks up right where the first game left off I hear with Captain Titus facing new threats to the Imperium. The narrative is engaging with well written characters and plot that keeps you hooked from start to finish. The environments are beautifully crafted, showcasing the grimdark universe of Warhammer 40k in stunning detail. As an environment artist myself, I can appreciate the level of detail and effort that went into creating these immersive worlds. The main campaign chronicles Lieutenant Titus's battle against forces of High Fleet Leviathan, which have invaded the Imperial worlds Avarax and Kadaku. The primary antagonists in the game are, of course, Tyranids, who are an extragalactic insectoid species dedicated to consuming all biomatter and the forces of chaos later on in the game. The characters in this game are fully voiced including Titus, your own character. Finally a game that doesn't make me have my usual silent protagonist rant. The dialogue sounds cool and serious, highlighting the dire situation everyone's in. I didn't cringe once during the playthrough. Lieutenant, the squad is ready. We are yours to command, Lieutenant. The astropathic relay on Avarax is under direct assault. If it falls, so do our hopes of reinforcement. This only increased my appreciation of a good storytelling actors and execution in general. The campaign lasted 10.9 hours for me, but I think one of those hours is spent by pausing the game and taking notes for this review. But even so, this grand spectacle was not a minute too short or too long for me. Let me explain. A game this intense and this repetitive can't have 20 or 30 hours campaign. I will go nuts killing the same enemies for 30 hours to be frank. Especially with the linear nature of the levels. I didn't feel incentivized to explore in this game at all and I sure didn't have any say in the story. None. I was just playing and enjoying the scripted experience. Not even some dialogue options. 
nothing. So if you're a big open world games fan with a lot of player agency, this game is not for you, my guy. I don't mind the small levels because I appreciate the well done environment way more than I appreciate a huge and empty open world that looks average, you know. So thank you for not biting more than you can chew, developers. You have a big W for that. Cinematics are well executed and I didn't mind them interrupting the gameplay from time to time. I know some people hate this. So yeah, no, it's very present in this game. In some of the missions it's pretty light, but in others <laughs> you'll have multiple cinematics in a very short period of time. My only problem with the story is the sameness of the voices. First I kept the helmets on my character so I didn't know who was talking. Because everyone has a grave deep voice. The differences are not that big and got annoying at some point. The Irish accent of my captain for example or the baddest major you meet when you first deploy on your first mission are different enough for obvious reasons but all other voices blend together in a way for me at least. And the last thing, I enjoyed listening the banter of my companions or uh, random grunts while going from A to B on the ship, you know, or on a mission. It really gives you a TLDR of the general mood and situation and brings the random NPCs to life. Visually, Space Marine 2 is a feast for the eyes. The graphics are top-notch with detailed character models and breathtaking environments. The game runs smoothly on my PC with no performance issues. The attention to detail in the textures and lighting really brings that Warhammer 40k universe to life. I'm usually complaining about shadows, texture inconsistencies, noisy graphics and I spot technical mistakes as I'm an environment artist. I struggle to find something wrong in this game visually. The levels seem like theater stages at times, but that's it. The graphics are not just good enough like in most games, they are polished to hell and back, with consistent textures, sharp shadows and great indoor and outdoor lighting. The small scripted levels you play through are illuminated with care and attention, making most vistas a treat to the eyes and to my soul. Very good job on this front lads, another W. And I haven't even mentioned the Saber Swarm engine new yet because I don't know anything about it other than the fact that it can render up to 500 enemies at once. This thing alone brings the environment to life for me. This engine is made in house by the devs and it's also used in World War Z, their other game with a lot of enemies on screen, which is pretty cool. The performance is good and the game runs great even on weaker systems from what I hear, but I don't know, I didn't test it myself. That was a long time ago. I prefer not to discuss it. At least you made it out alive, which is more than we can say for the orcs. Well, the value for money here is subjective. I'll try to explain how it is for me at least and hope you can extrapolate from here. The game will be done at around 15 hour mark for me I think. As I don't fancy PvP and I don't want to grind those classes if I don't have a purpose, you know. So the value for money is pretty, is pretty average, but, but... <laughs> There's always a but with me, yeah? This game is like a very fine meal at a fancy restaurant. I can't expect it to be as cheap as McDonald's, right? right? So yeah, this varies. It all depends what you value. Uh, if you're into PvP, I believe this should get you 50 hours or something. And by that point, the value is what I consider to be normal in this year and age. The game will have some DLCs down the line, but there is no in-game shop and all the bullshit you are used by now. And to be frank, the only thing that rubbed me the wrong way was the early access thingy. That should be called out every time. 
so yeah you guys got an L for that one one of the biggest additions to Space Marine 2 is the multiplayer mode. It's a blast to team up with friends and take on hordes of enemies together. <laughs> yeah. I have no friends by the way, I, I played with randoms. The progression system is rewarding with plenty of customization options to keep you coming back for more. Whether you're a lone wolf or a team player, there's something here for everyone. The only thing that annoys me is the lack of meds and stuff. If you're not going first smashing crates and executing enemies, you will die. Especially if you if your teammates take everything and execute enemies all the time, even if they are at full armor. So yeah, no idea about the PvP, but I hear it's pretty damn satisfying also. I got no notable bugs with the game. I only had some freezing issues while I was alt tabbed out of the game writing my notes. I couldn't get back into it, so I had to alt F4 out of it multiple times. Uh, but I was recording at the same time. Yeah, that was my only issue with the game, actually. Wow. Nice. I will take full responsibility. I gave no report. I have yet to decide if you require formal penance. The arch enemy lurks in the shadows of the Hive City. Jericus was blindsided by Ulrich Astartes. So, my final thoughts now. Overall, Space Marine 2 is a great game. The amount of polish I saw in all these gameplay systems, sound and graphics put even Blizzard to shame. The old Blizzard, by the way. Not the new, not what we have now. And that enhances the experience a lot. If, you, if you're if you a fan of uh, Warhammer 40k Universe, close this review and go buy it. Or if you just love a good action game, this is a must play in my opinion. I'd give this game a 9 out of 10 and would even go as far as saying yeah, this is the game of the year material for sure. It all depends on a couple of releases I still want this year. Still has a few shortcomings, sure, hence the 9 out of 10, but I appreciate those developers vision and want to congratulate them as they did something special. As a small note here, the photo mode is pretty well implemented in this game and I like the fact that you can pause mid-combat and go take a cool pick. Sucks there is too much core if you try that in combat but nonetheless very cool implementation of this feature. Anyway, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is a testament for how games should be made. I would have liked some player agency but I enjoyed too much the on the rails cinematic experience this game offers. Thank you for watching everyone, if you enjoyed this review don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more game reviews and content. Let me know in the comments what you think of Space Marine 2 and what game you'd like me to review next. And until next time, stay defensive. Don't buy all junk that releases every day. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service.